Aloha, you're watching F5 On Demand. I'm Senior Technical Marketing Manager, Peter Silva. We're in Vegas for Interop 2014 at Mandalay Bay Convention Center, booth 2227. If you're at the show, come and say hi. And I'm fortunate to have Tim Wagner. He's Manager of Field Systems Engineering for F5. First time on the show, Tim. It is, and I feel honored, Pete. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, I have to say. It's just me. We've known each other for a while. You're the F5 face. You're, you're the face. You're the face. So one of the things we're talking about this week here at Interop, and what we've talk, been talking about for a number of months now, is our synthesis vision. Yep. Yep. And it's the vision for software-defined application services. Now, I'm in the marketing organization, and we market this stuff and talk about the high-performance services fabric, the intelligent services orchestration, and then the simplified business model so you guys can make sure that all of your apps have the services they need. But I thought it'd be interesting to get with Tim, who's out in the field all the time talking to our customers, to kind of get a sense of how this translates in the field with our customers and the sorts of things that how you describe it in the field over and above our, you know, our marketing, marketing speak. Yeah, so what, what we found is that you know, if we go in and we just talk about the marketing pitch, right, and give them the slide deck and talk about synthesis, it really doesn't resonate to customers. So what we've started doing is starting out with a whiteboard, right? And talking more about how we got to where we are and why synthesis is so important. Well, the deck resonates. It's just there needs to be some context, context. put around it. Exactly, exactly. It needs some context in order to kind of get customers to the same point where right. we are with our thinking. Right? Because it's such a strategic vision and kind of outside of what most people are used to hearing. And so, yeah, initially that, whoa, but then once they get it in context, then it becomes much clearer to them. And ultimately what they think is we're giving them a new product that they're going to go buy. So yeah. they hear synthesis and they say, where do I buy it? And that's not really what it is because they can buy it today. It's just really about a vision, right? Got that's it. the important piece. All right, so we uh, got some blue and red here. What does this all mean, Tim? And a bunch of circles. I love it, though. Yes. So where we start with customers is usually around how, how networks have moved um, throughout the time and kind of where they're going with, with software-defined networking and software-defined application services. So what's important to know here on this board is that, you know, Cisco kind of took the market at layer two, three, Right? And if you go ask customers, you find that they generally have one or two vendors in this space, and it's usually Cisco. But, right. but why is it Cisco is the important part of this, and why it's Cisco is because they came up with an OS that could do both, right? iOS. Now it's NextOS, and they've kind of moved forward in the pitch. But right. you know, essentially, that's what they did to dominate this, is they put one market, one, IO, one OS out on the market, and people gravitated to it because it made it easier, right? It saved costs because of training. It saved costs because of knowledge and just you know, it was easy to manage in the network because you only had one OS to learn off of, no matter which feature you used. Right. And, and you were also able to add numerous features Absolutely. and modules along the way on top of iOS and Poet cards and everything else. Absolutely. Absolutely. And they even went into the Layer 4 space for a while and then decided to get out of it, yeah. right, and partner with us. So really what, what we do is, you know, we look at this and then we go up to Layer 4 through 7 and what we found is that customers generally have, and I drew up, you know, 10 bu bubbles up here, the reality is customers generally have 32 or more vendors in the layer four through seven space. That's an interesting stat. Yeah, it finds, it, it's really interesting and it's, it's funny because what really happens is this is the logic in your network, right? This is where your firewalling happens. This is where interop opens. Yep. This is where WAN optimization happens. It's where all the, the real flow of traffic happens. And it's the hardest to manage, right? Because of all these different devices. And it seems like it's all of the services that are tied to the applications themselves. Exactly. All of these are critical in delivering applications in some form or fashion. Yep. Um, so what F5 vision really is, is not to replace all of these, but if you notice the bubbles, there's certain ones here that we're actually really strong in and can replace with AFM around the firewall market. Um, but really what we're doing is TMOS, right? Our core operating system is really we're doing for the four through seven space what Cisco did for the two through three space, right? So we're not gonna be everything to everybody, but we are gonna consolidate maybe three or four of these things and make it easier. So the next question that comes is, why is this important yeah. um, to customers? It's important when you look towards the SDN world and really where synthesis is, is because how do you orchestrate when you have, let's say 50 different vendors across your network stack trying to work on one application? How do you orchestrate that? All of them have to have open APIs. All of them have their own controllers. All of them have their own management systems. That's very difficult, and that's why I think you don't see the adoption of SDN today 
um, so quickly, right? People are just kicking the tire. Well, that was actually the question I was going to ask. SDN is a big buzzword in the industry, being able to abstract the control plane and the, and the data plane to be yeah. able to program your network and let them do the, do the job. Um, but I also understand, and I, I, I know this, that it's still, people are still testing the waters yeah. with SDN. Uh, nobody's really jumping in, kind of like how cloud was about five yeah. years ago. But it's, it's interesting in terms of our software-defined application services, because if you understand SDN, then you can clearly understand SDAS. Yeah, and what we're doing, you know, SDN today has been focused on 2.3, opera, opera, operationalizing the network. Yeah. Um, but it's really been on 2.3 and stateless stuff. So what we've kind of added to this whole conversation with Synthesis and SDAS is the layer four through seven opera, op, opera ugh, I can't even say the word. Uh, operate. Uh, Spell it out. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we really are moving to that space, right? So we overlay all those networks. So really whatever a customer does at the layer two, three space, whether it's APIC or VMware or OpenStack, we kind of sit on top and add the traffic logic Right. On top of it, regardless of any of these, or if you decide to use all three. Yeah. Right. And being able to abstract all that stuff from the individual applications and apply the services appropriately across the board. Exactly. On one OS with one open API, that's easier for customers to manage. That's really, to me, what, what gets you ready for the synthesis, synthesis message and what really is the important part that customers understand. Because we're giving them consolidation at 437 and then setting them up for... Um, as, as that. And that's and that's also kind of the key, right? Where they might you might not be deploying SDN today. You might just be looking at it, but putting our platform in place within your infrastructure. As soon as you decide to flip that SDN switch, whatever the flavor may be, our controllers will be able to handle it easily. Yeah, you're ready today. So everything we're talking about in synthesis, when we talk about the fabric, yep. that's all stuff you can buy today. It all works with VXLAN, MVGRE, OpenStack, right? It's all released today. Um, Big IQ, right? The management and the orchestration piece. It's there, we're growing it, and it's developing quickly, right, on a four month cycle. So lots of development going into that. Um, and then the big key for customers is the licensing, right? Yeah. We've really changed our licensing to make it more efficient, give them some cost reduction when they go with our bundles to get to this vision, right? TMOS, consolidate, make it easier to orchestrate. And I understand those bundles have been very, very popular with our, our customers, hasn't it? Absolutely, they're definitely popular. Um, you know. How do you argue with a 60% cost reduction when you go a la carte for all those items? Yeah, and forget about you know cost reduction, really being able to get all of those services now in one platform. Yeah, well, and the, the trick to that is, I say cost reduction, what I really mean is all of the reduction, right? You get yeah. rid of some vendors, you get one API to work with, but you also reduce your, your training budget, your, your operator's expense, because the trick in IT is, how do you get you know, all your engineering staff trained on 50 products? Right. Uh, it's almost impossible. It's to a tipping point of how do you know all this stuff? One guy can't, and so that's what we're helping consolidate. Interesting stuff, Tim. <laughs> and I got you cracking up pretty I good know, this time, didn't I? Happen, and I can't even say words now. <laughs> <laughs> so a little bit more about what's really happening in the field, uh, both on the SDN level and also how people are receiving our synthesis vision and how SDAS kind of plays in, in all of that. Yeah. First awesome. time on the show? Great Thank job, you. Jim. Thank you. I feel like, uh, you know, I got a, to meet the superstar. Sense of relief now. Sense of relief, and, and I got a superstar. Now I can go take a nap. <laughs> and you'll get featuring Wagner on oh. the title. Wow. wow, wow. Yeah. I feel special. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining me again, Tim. So, reporting from Vegas at Interop 2014 for my good buddy, Tim. I got Greg the first time behind the camera. Give a little wave, Greg. <laughs> I'm Peter, and we're with F5 Networks. Thanks for watching.